Hi everybody, welcome back to Fool's Gold. This is episode 13. There's been a few days in between recording episode 12 and episode 13, uh, mainly because I wanted to keep my promise to you all and shiny hunt on stream. I told you guys I was gonna do that. Uh, and I, I I finally I finally pulled the finger out and did it. We shiny hunted a shiny Lickitung, uh, which is actually gonna be replacing our Porygon. I know Porygon's like Loki, my mascot of the series, cause I just love him so much, but I like Lickitung a lot too. I've never really actually used a Lickitung before either. So I figured, hey, I actually really dig this Lickitung design. Let me shiny hunt it and use it. So I'm going to get Lotad to put a bunch of the shiny reactions from both of my live streams uh, on here. Maybe not so much shiny reactions, more shiny encounters, because I, to be honest, I didn't really have much of a reaction. Uh, but yeah, we, uh, we found like six shinies before we found Lickitung. And then when we finally found Lickitung, because the second stream we did, we found Lickitung like only an hour in, I decided to keep going and find uh, some more shiny Pokemon to replace on my team. And uh, I found those too. So here are the reactions. And then we're going to get into the episode. Yo, three Lickitungs in a row? Holy shit. <gasps> shiny. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, yeah that actually looks kind of sick. I like that. Yeah, I got a shiny hip now. I'm a, I'm a purple stand. Yeah, same. Yeah, I don't know anything. Another shiny head? No, fuck little... off. Oh my God. Yo, can you trade that to me? This is the first ever you Another stream. one! Fuck off, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I find three shiny. I find I find the shiny every half hour, it seems. So the odds are pretty good. Such a track. Oh, it's got a shiny tentacle. What? <sighs> pretty tentacle, you know? Hard, is it? It's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. How the fuck did you... That's insane. What do you want? Do you guys see my? Do you guys see my screen right now? Shiny tentacle, shiny tentacle, shiny tentacle. Oh, now the other shiny has a friend. Bro, you're getting cut. Did you kill it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Same. Literally, Take me with dude. you. Take me with you. Look at my screen, please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you're actually getting cooked. I'm kind of a- oh, we got it. And it is- okay. <laughs> uh, <hey. laughs> oh. Why isn't it red? It's purple, oh like, God. it's purple. It's purple. That shit's dark blue, what you mean? It's purple. It's purple, heart. Yo, holy shit! Yo, holy shit, it's green! Whoa, that's so cool! Wow. Whoa! Crazy. Holy shit, it's puking blood, holy shit! Yo, devs, I'm gonna need you to make this a little, make this a little better. Hey, you have original Lickitung on your screen. Disappointed, but not surprised. We're looking for two more shiny. Let's fucking go! It's not hard. The game's easy. It's just not hard. It's is purple. It? it looks like gum. I'm here for it, dude. I'm here for it. Please don't look like shit. 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 Please, please. Hmm. I like him. She's like a baby blue. Yeah. Hmm. So, I preferred it. That's a Jigglypuff. I can't even lie. <gasps> Yo! Is that a Holy shark? shit! Yes! I'm so glad I hunted this one. Holy shit, this one fox. That is so You're mimic you. Mimic you vibes. It's monochromy. All right, so, yep, yeah, those were all the uh, shiny reactions. Hopefully, Lotad didn't forget. Just so Lotad, just I'm gonna put a checklist real quick. So, there were three Hypnos, <laughs> there were actually three tentacles there was one tentacle in the first live stream and two in the other live stream and then after that i found shiny lickitung so those were the six before lickitung three of them were hypnos three of them were tentacles <laughs> uh and then after that i found shiny jigglypuff and then shiny giraffe rig and i believe that is where we're at now uh there was a brief period where i was uh hunting for charizard in the daycare um because apparently you can uh, I guess abuse the odds of shiny Pokemon with breeding uh, if you're using a shiny parent. So I was using a shiny Gyarados dad, but apparently it's not that simple and there's a bit more to it than just that. So I was basically breeding for an impossible shiny. I, so yeah, I just wanted to quickly address that for those that were, that, that maybe saw the stream, saw I was breeding for Charizards and then they're just like, wait, why did you go back to wild hunting? Like what happened? So yeah, that's what happened there. Team recap, uh, my mons are all high level now. Um, I decided not to. Um, I decided not to do a grinding montage because I didn't really want this video to be bloated, uh, filled 
with um, shiny reactions and a grinding montage, you know what I mean? Uh, let's just get, you, I've already wasted enough of your time. So um, can I quickly address really quick, whenever I add extra content like this, I do try to treat it as extra content. I don't make it up, because like these videos generally are 20 minutes long. And if I give you guys a bunch of filler content, I make up for that and I make the rest of the video longer. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make the rest of this video like let's say the including the shiny reactions and the intro and all this other nonsense the videos at like the seven minute mark I'm not gonna make I'm, I'm not gonna record only for like an extra 13 minutes just to make the video 20 minutes now I'm gonna give you guys a 30 minute episode to make up for it like I if you guys don't like the the filler stuff you can skip it it's not necessary to watch you know I just some people complained that the grinding montages were, were filler and it's like yeah that's the point. They're optional. That's why I put timestamps in the description. And that's why I'm going to put timestamps in the description for the shiny reactions. Anyways, I decided to get rid of T-Tar. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be unhappy about that. And I, I want to say, I think a lot of you guys might be annoyed at the fact that I'm uh, <laughs> swapping up my team so frequently. Um, because I think literally I've only had T-Tar for two episodes and I've already decided to swap them out. Um, but a lot of you guys were calling me a noob. <laughs> Maybe not so much calling me a noob, but you guys were like, wow, Callum's got two pseudos, bro. Uh, so I decided, you know what, fuck yous. I'm just going to remove both my pseudos. Uh, yes, that's right. I do have plans to remove Dragonite. It's just, I want to find the perfect replacement. Right now in mind, I have maybe Ho-Oh, because Ho-Oh's type combination f fits really well on the team. Um, but I have another Pokemon in mind as well. We'll just see what well, when I get, like, why, how long it takes me to get it. If I don't get it in the next few episodes, I'll probably just add Ho-Oh to the team. Uh, but yeah, we decided to get rid of Razor for the Lickitung. Uh, Hungry Box, we actually found a shiny Hungry Box, so that's why Hungry Box has been replaced. And uh, Sana, Sana Tell. I just, I decided on stream to get rid of it because I already know that there's going to be a lot of you guys using T-Tar. And as cool as it is, I'm trying to be a unique Pokemon trainer. And something that came to my attention on stream uh, was that there was actually a normal ghost type in this game. I thought there wasn't. I, I did look for a normal ghost type but I could never find it. But apparently there was a normal ghost type in this game. And for those that follow the Hoodlum Callum channel, dog, I fuck the normal ghost type combination. It's not a real combination that exists yet, but normal ghost is the type that I gave to Pants, my mascot, whatever, my, you know, my, my OC, whatever the fuck you want to call it, dude. The, the Scrafty that's yellow in my icon. <laughs> He's a normal ghost type because that's my favorite type combination because whenever I would play Pokemon fusion games, I, I think I fused a Gengar and a Snorlax and the normal ghost type combination is just so fucking sick to me. It's literally my favorite type combo and it doesn't exist in real games. So um, I, I thought that Persian would maybe be normal ghost, but when I found out it was dark psychic, I was kind of let down or I think it's ghost dark. I don't remember. I think it's dark psychic. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Somebody, somebody in my stream chat was like, yo, Giraffe is normal ghost. And I was like, no, the fuck it's not. I've already checked. And I, apparently I just had an, it. It's normal ghost. And I'm so hyped. We shiny hunted for it and it looks fucking badass. This is my favorite mon right now, man. I fucking love this thing. Shadow Ball, Side Beam, Earthquake, Headbutt. Nice coverage. Nice stab. Very excited to use this. Of course, we've got Roshi still. <clears throat> got Chef the Dragonite, who I plan on replacing. I've kind of grown out of its design. Um, we have Hungry Box, the Wigglytuff. Looks kind of cute, shiny. Um, I, I, I like the Jigglypuff coloring more, but you know, it's a shiny. We've got to use the shiny. And last but not least, we have Hangover the Lickitung. Kind of disappointed that it isn't any other color but this. Whenever I was hunting it, there was a lot of people in chat saying, yo, it's just going to be a darker shade of blue, bro. And I'm like, please don't wish that into existence. I really hope it's not just a darker shade of blue. And it wound up, it makes kind of purple. It's like violet. I don't know. It's it's not it's not as bad as like just a darker shade of blue. Like it is better than actual Lickitung. I, I mean, I like the colors of actual Lickitung more, but this guy looks sick too. But I wish it was like red or green or orange or yellow or pink or literally anything but this. Literally anything but this. Anyways, well, I mean, not anything but this, but I wish it was just a different color is all. Anyways, it's fine. That is the team as it stands. I don't know if it's going to be the final team. I mean, probably not. I've already told you I'm planning on replacing Dragonite. So apologies for the huge intro, uh, but I hope you guys, I had a lot to cover. I had a lot to talk about. I have this thing where like, I, I feel like I have to over explain myself and uh, it's just an issue from fucking growing up, man. I always feel like I've got to explain everything, man. So bear with me, okay? I'm doing my best. I'm trying to explain things as 
in, in as, as little uh, as little words as possible. <laughs> I'm not trying to waste your time, I promise. Uh, so now we're gonna go head back to Kanto. And uh, fuck, we did the copycat thing off. Actually, no, fuck, I'm not meant to go back to Kanto yet. Shit, no, fuck. I completely forgot that there's actually a thing in Johto we need to check out. So over to the left of Sianwood City. Uh, it's something that you guys have actually been telling me to check out ever since I beat the champion two episodes ago, three episodes ago now. Uh, I just, I just kept forgetting. I, ju I genuinely just kept forgetting. Now that we have Surf, we can go up this fucking waterfall. Or this one, alternatively. I, I don't think I've been up this one yet. So on stream, I went up the other waterfall to the left. Okay, this one has nothing besides... Oh, a big pearl. Look at the difference, man. My one is so much better. Oh, I love this giraffe rig. Yeah, okay, it doesn't seem to be anything up here. So we want to go this way. So I did come up here off on, on, on live stream. So I have kind of spoiled myself a little bit and I apologize. So I've already battled these two. They weren't anything significant. But, uh, Daffodil Creek. I, I really hate that Daffodil is spelled like that, to be honest. But this is a new area that they added to Fool's Gold also. Um, I don't remember what this guy says. My name is Baboa. Oh yeah, the warden of Safari Zone in Future City. Planning on building a new and improved Safari Zone here in Daffodil Creek. But those dang devs in the other house just won't budge. So I guess this must be like in the before Heart Gold Soul Silver. Must be like in the middle of Silver and before Heart Gold Soul Silver. That's when Fool's Gold Cannon Cannon is set. And this is the Fool's Gold Dev Secret Lair. Do not enter. Well, I'm gonna fucking enter, aren't I? Because I do what I want. Actually, wait, before I do, I want to show you guys this. For some weird reason, a pencil sharpened iron statue is blocking the path. So this is an Earthbound reference. I've never played Earthbound before. But my chat blew up and was like, yo, that's an Earthbound reference. That's so fucking cool. So, yeah. Earthbound reference, poggers. Anyways, um, they said to go into the dev's house and apparently that's a way we can get it to go away. Hi. Oh, I'm not a trainer. I just hang around here because they're my friends. Hey, you need me to heal your Pokemon? Sure, go for it, man. All right, what's going on in here? The secret lair. Ooh, this is a lot bigger than I expected. All right, let's talk to these guys. You've come to ask about Fool's Emerald, haven't you? Oh, you want a battle? Are you ready for scuffle of the century? Oh shit. Prepare thyself? Oh god, fuck, I'm not ready for this. Um, I don't know if they're gonna scale the level or what. Developer Joe! Motherfucker's name is Joe! This is how you do a self-insert. Oh my god, it's shiny! My man's got shiny. Okay, he's all 35. Okay, they made him the same level, I guess, that you have to be to, to actually be able to use waterfall. That makes sense, I guess. I would prefer it if they um if they had level scaling for this sort of thing, but I'm um, you know. I think they have big plans to, to fix the level issues in the in the next update. I could be wrong, but I think I think I remember one of my people telling me that. There's gonna be a huge update in 2021 that we will cover, by the way. Um but yeah, developer Joe. Fucking let's go, Joe. I didn't even one shot it. Holy fuck, dude, Weezing's fat. Or giraffe rig's not strong because it's not super effective. Or it's not super effective anymore. Uh, eradicate as an electric type. Wait, I can earthquake that. Oh, it's shiny too. Wow. Cool. Uh, I guess these guys are just gonna have full teams of shinies because they can. I respect that. Octillery. Ooh, it's red. That's cute. That's cute. I like that coloring. And last but not least, Zatu. Oh, shiny Zatu. Hey, it's black and red. Let's fucking go. Or it's more gray and red. I love that. I love that so much. Uh, Shadow Ball. Damn, bro. My ass hurts. I fucking love that. Yeah, this is how you do a self-insert, man. If you beat all five of us, I'll give you something special. All right, let's fucking do it. Hey, hey, you want to fight? What Pokemon that is? The early bird catches the worm, but none of the worm has legs. What the fuck does that mean? Developer Reeve. Ampharos. Ooh, it's shiny's nice and orange. I, if orange, brown? I don't know actually what color that is. I'm colorblind. I'm not actually colorblind. Nido Queen. Yo, she looks dope. Yes, I love that color. Oops, I mean, you side beam. Damn, I'm actually getting my ass handed to me. What the fuck's going on here? Let me use Hangover. I actually need to look through my TMs and give Hangover some TMs because uh, <laughs> he still has Disable. And I don't know if that's a very good move. Oh my god, that sound effect. That's like the, the intro sound effect. I just realized this thing's four times neutral to me. Or resisted. Let me fucking ice punch it to death. Bye bye. Firo. Uh, shiny's kind of mid. Looks too much like actual Firo. And Typhlosion. Ooh. What's Typhlosion gonna look like shiny? Oh my god, it's pink. Okay, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I, uh, that's cool. Maybe it was an April Fool all along. Oh well, good job. Alright, so this is why this guy heals here. Alright, let's fucking go. Three more to go. These guys are actually... Kind of hard. What a match, Mons. Wait, that's not what I meant. This ain't my first rodeo, but it'll be your last. All right, Gabby. Bloody hell, mate. Parasect. I'm actually super hyped. I'm getting to see all these shinies. I don't have to bother hunting them, though. Persian? All right, that's sick. I really do like this Persian. I, I really do rate this Persian highly. I, I, I like it a lot, but I have extreme smart, so I don't care. Murkrow is going to be pink? Oh, okay. That's kind of a letdown. Shiny Murkrow is usually pink, so... Mm, doesn't change too much, but 
I guess subtle shinies aren't bad, but like, I think it's just the eye color that kind of changes. So I kind of wish there was a little bit more going on there. Oh shit, shiny Sea King. Oh my God, it's just changed the color of the fucking, the ooze that's coming out of it or whatever. Did you know your heart is a muscle the size of a rat? Thank you for the tip. Hey, you want to battle me? Heh, <laughs> tough talk for a fella with a small cock. My Pokemon and I are going to give you the beating you deserve. Now, on your knees. All right, mate, fucking hell. Developer Amanda <laughs> Dodrio. Nope, he looks sick. Yeah, he genuinely looks ill. Like, he actually looks, like, unwell. Like, he he, he genuinely looks... He's... Did you get it? Magmar? Okay, that's fucking cool. On my stream, Whoop actually hunted for a shiny Magby, and he got it, and it looked pretty dope. But Magmar looks pretty sick, too. Pun intended again. Tentacruel? Yeah, I've already seen what Tentacruel looks like. I think Tentacruel looks way better than Tentacruel, but this looks all right, too. This is the color I wish Lickitung was. And last but not least, fucking Ariados. Dude, why do you, why are you, this Amanda is fucking gall the creepy mons, man. I'm scared. I'm scared. No, my fat stacks. You better scram right now before I find your favorite relative and give him an Al Alabama hot pocket they'll never forget. I don't want to know what that is. Ooh, yes. What is going on, silly man? You want to fight? Bro, we are teens. We are battling now, bro. I like these guys' dialogue. Relatable. All right, Max, what's happening, Chief? He has an Noctowl. Ah, shiny Noctowl is like bronze. It's not bad, it's not bad. I actually don't hate Noctowl's design in this game, and you know what's fucked up? Noctowl's type combination is literally the perfect type combination for my team. So, like, the team I have right now, the only Pokemon, I guess the only weaknesses I have that aren't covered is grass. If I, if I were to remove Dragonite, this is. The only weaknesses I have that aren't covered is grass, dragon, ground and something else i don't quite remember off the top of my head but regardless i think it's psychic yeah uh regardless yeah noctowl literally counters all of those perfectly so i'm like hmm, maybe i gotta get myself an octowl but at the same time ooh, he doesn't look that much different not a huge fan of this one at the same time fuck noctowl <laughs> A champ oh my god that is such a fucking sick shiny i love that that is dope and a palm the fool's gold oh he's just black he's just black and gray yes we beat them all let's fucking go i wish i came here sooner true yo that is such a me line it do not matter babies with soft spots better not misbehave least they end up on my pottery wheel my man's a meme machine all right well i beat all your friends congratulation you done it here's your reward what what you're not satisfied damn the things i have to do here's something a little better hey a pencil eraser thank you this machine will eradicate all pencil shaped figures in just one second it is incredibly powerful just don't use it near the shop that sells pencils thanks for playing we're not making fool's emeralds by the way so stop asking us yeah guys be grateful that we got this do these guys say anything different now yeah i guess not hmm wow i wonder what pencil shaped object i can uh get rid of you already know what the fuck's going on for some weird reason the iron pencil statue was erased Okay. Ah, fuck me. Ah. Uh, oh, here's missing now. And this was going to be the final member of my team. Um, I knew I knew this existed because I, I've looked at the Fool's Gold Pokemon data thing for when I'm like trying to find where to catch Pokemon. And yeah, this is in Daffodil Creek. Kind of want to shiny hunt it. So I was, I don't know if I, if I catch one and use it now. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I'm looking at its stats right now. It has zero HP, 150 attack, zero defense, 150 special attack, 150 speed, and zero spideth. So it's literally just a glass cannon. So like, if I do this, does it just does it just die? It it just dies. I don't. Can I viably use that? I actually thought this was gonna be like a boss battle and not just a cave that you encounter Pokemon in. Oh my god, the cave is the shape of missing. No, I fucking love that. That is sick. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do here, guys. I also love that it's got no music. Now you guys can hear my background music in full. All right, well, I caught one just for now. I'll, I'll, I'll consider shiny hunting it. I might, I don't know, I'll give it a whirl. Me, this is actually what my head looks like. Oh my God, I'm only in the water, let's go. I actually think I legitimately want to 100% the Pokedex in this game so I can like make a video where I, I guess I react to all the mons. So like, I I, I, I legit just want to catch everything, man. I, I might, I think that'll be a live stream I do. So keep your eyes peeled for some live streams, but awesome. Water Lily. Its body relaxes in the water while it floats above, taking in energy from the sun. This is another water type I highly considered using. Hitmonlee. Uh, the kicking Pokemon Hitmonlee is an unstoppable fighter due to its fluid motions, which allow it to move swiftly. I love this thing. Anyways, yeah, we're done with Daffodil Creek. So now we can finally go back to Kanto. Kanto!
bitch. All right, motherfuckers in Saffron City now. Let's fucking go. Oh, uh, we were Pewter City, right? That's where we last were. I need to buy some balls. Motherfuckers only got great balls. What the fuck? Who the fuck? What type of establishment? Fine, I guess we're gonna sell it on. Fuck you. You better let me through, motherfucker. You better let me through, motherfucker. Let's go. Sell it on city. Here we are at last. Who the fuck is this dick? Hey, Team Rocket hideout is in the basement of the game corner. Oh, wait. That was three years ago. Okay, Pokeballs. What if I were to hypothetically Uber Eats myself some KFC right now? What would, how would that make you feel, viewer? Ultra Balls, let's fucking go. Oh yeah, I forgot I bought a shit ton of repels. So I'm kind of broke right now. Yeah, I bought a shit ton of repels because um, I wanted to do the repel trick. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I guess they'll come in handy for the rest of the playthrough though. Oh, a power varies with the Pokemon. Oh, uh, is that hidden power? Mm -mm. Boost the fire type moves for five turns. I actually... What the fuck is that? Foils attack that turn. It may fail. What the fuck? I don't recognize any of these. Boosts water type moves for five turns. Inflicts damage every turn. Am I stupid? Are those new attacks or? Oh wait, sunny day and rainy day. Rain dance. That That's probably it. All right, time to take on the fucking Erica, dummy. Wait, where does the move deleter live? I think he's just in Johto in this game. I could be wrong though. I forgot the Whirlpool was a HM. My fucking guy had it just automatically my guy hangover what the hell is up here it's usually fly right you cruise down cycling load you'll end up in your city wow fly doesn't live here anymore all right for real erica time actually wait after i teach icy wind i don't know if there's any other moves that hangover can learn earthquake uh i guess that would be good coverage it's not like headbutt stab so i may as well go with a headbutt ice punch that's probably better than icy wind finally some good coverage uh, i don't think i have ice beam so ice punch it is this gym is great. Only girls are allowed here. Oh, you think I'm a fucking girl. Let me in. Can't believe that is real dialogue in a real Pokemon game. Oh, go on then. Yo, motherfucker's got an executor, bro. I forgot that he looked like that. I hate this mon. Why, why did they do that to my boy Jumpluff, man? The other two aren't that bad, but Jumpluff, bro? Holy shit. Yo, how do I go about becoming a lady like Erica? And I don't know, man. Just be yourself. Fuck it. It doesn't matter. Lovely weather. Yep. Let's battle. Yep. I'm all the way from Johto. I'm here to beat you to death. Ah, uh, Erica's so sleepy. I like Gardenia more though. Gardenia's got massive, massive boots. All right, Eggy. Level 55. Oh yeah, I fucking forgot these guys are actually high level. Holy shit. I'm not just gonna Oko everything here. Ah, shit. Solar Beam? Is that what that is? Ah, fuck. Okay, well, another Shadow Ball should kill. Dude, Smarts is so strong. I can't believe that I replaced a Tyranitar for a fucking Giraffe Rig. That's just comedy to me. Primeape. Uh, Monkey. Hungry Box can take this on with fucking Nice Punch. Another one. Boom. Dude, Smarts can just take on this whole gym by, by itself if it wants to. Just Shadow Ball all the things. I think that's a pure Grass Vile Bloom. I could be tripping though. I don't remember. It wasn't super effective though, so it wasn't Psychic. All right, three more Mons. Yanma. I wish Yanma would hurry up and evolve. Ugly little baby. Blossom. I think that's a fucking water grass, right? And Sudowoodoo. If only I had a fucking ghost move right now. Yo, I wonder what shiny Sudowoodoo looks like. I bet he looks fucking sick. Anyways, that's that. Erica got fucking bodied. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I should give you the rainbow badge. Yeah, you fucking will. Then I think now what we have to do is take on Koga's daughter, Janine. Is that her name? So I guess I gotta go down cycling road now. Are the bad guys still here? Do they still live here? Looks kind of quiet. Oh, are you a bad man? You're from Johto, huh? Why does everybody know I'm from Johto? Do I just, is that the first thing I say to them? Like, I'm from Johto. Riley has a Macargo. I was considering using Macargo instead of Dragonite. I can't even lie, but I feel like it's shiny won't look as good as its actual color in this game. Electabuzz is actually another consideration. I wouldn't mind using Electabuzz. Whatever. Looks like the road's easy. And here we are. Oh, not in Saladon yet. Here we are in Saladon. Let's fucking go. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck. Can't go up this way. Wait, this isn't Saladon. What am I talking about? This is Fuchsia, right? Fuchsia. Dude, I'm so tired. Oh, I think it's time we fucking beat Koga, because I said so. Well, no, it's not Koga, it's Janine. I can I can just avoid all these, right? It's kind of a cool gym, I, gym, gym puzzle, I guess. But this is the right one, right? Or no? Fooled you, haha. <laughs> oh, nope, I'm wrong. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm only joking. I'm the real deal. Yeah, Janine's fucking cool. I like her. Oh, uh, what's going on, Janine? Vaporeon? Ooh, nicey. Icy, icy. Wait, is Vaporeon ice poison? Why is she using an ice type? I thought she was a poison trainer. Did they change her to- Wait, no there's, no, there's no way they would change her. Neptune wind, what the fuck is that? Doesn't do shit for damage, that's what it is. Except it froze me. Poggers. Oh, and I love being frozen. Finally defrosted, holy shit. Don't freeze me again. If this is a high freeze move, I'm gonna mauled. It better not be a high freeze move. I'm- 
What? Excuse me? It, it, what? All right, you know what? I'm over it. I'm just gonna let Hangover go down. Roshi, fucking vital throw. Thank you. Eevee, does she just have the Eevee Lucians? What the fuck? It's level 70. Excuse me? Excuse the fuck out of me. Why is this thing level 70? I guess it's because it's an Eevee and it has shit stats. Wow, she just has the Eevee Lucians apparently. I guess they have to shoehorn it in there somewhere. Flurry on the dragon, Espeon the fucking bee, and Umbreon on the mummy. Still kind of Loki wanted to use this, but I already had a ghost type I was quite happy with at the time. And that is that. Sh Chef is getting some last minute damage off before he's replaced. <laughs> if I do bother replacing him. You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's the soul badge. Let's fucking go. Toxic. So she still gives me toxic instead of some cool evolution move. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think that's all we got time for today. Um, mainly because I know we've still got a bunch of other stuff to cover. We still have to take on two more gym leaders, I believe. I think we've done, we did Brock, Misty, Surge, Erica, Sabrina, and Janine just now. So we just have to take on Blaine and Blue, I believe. So, uh... We'll do those probably next episode, as well as take a look at the Safari Zone, as well as try and find Moltres and Articuno, because they're going to be kicking about somewhere. Uh, and then, I don't know, we'll just kind of we'll just kind of go from there. We'll, we'll play it by ear. But um, thank you guys, as always, so much for keeping up with this series. It really does mean a lot. I know it's been a longer one than usual, but I do have some other things in the works after this. I actually have another fan game similar to this one, but it's quite funny. It's less of a serious one and more of a funny one, so... Uh, yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate the hell out of you, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>